mental health. Autistic people are more likely to experience mental health issues than people who aren't autistic. Significantly more autistic people experience anxiety, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and suicidal thoughts and actions than non-autistic people. There are complicated reasons for this. Some are to do with being autistic, and some are to do with the ways that autistic people are sometimes treated by others. Whatever the reasons, there are ways to support autistic people to have the best possible mental health. One way to help is to provide support to autistic people to help us to identify and express our emotions. Autistic people can find it difficult to make sense of emotions and communicating them to other people in words can be hard. What do you see in the picture? There's a boy running away. And what does the boy have in his hand? His crutches. He's been naughty and I've got your crutches. And the boy is really angry like this. What is this boy doing with his fist? What's he doing with his fist? Show me what he's doing. That's it. Perfect. He's showing he's angry. He's clenching his fist. Okay? So it can help to talk about the names of emotions and the physical symptoms that go with them. For example, shaking when scared, or faces going red when someone is angry or excited. Another way to help is to encourage the development of supportive communities. It's really important for everyone to work to challenge bullying and encourage understanding and acceptance of autistic people. It can help to actively develop and support formal and informal networks of peer support from other autistic people. It's also important that broader social groups genuinely welcome autistic people. So why not start a Minecraft club or help an autistic young person get involved in a Facebook group about trains? A good way to help with anxiety is to support an autistic person to face their fears in small steps. Anxiety is one of the most common mental health issues for autistic people. When we feel anxious, we don't want to do the thing that seems scary. But if we always avoid what scares us, it makes the anxiety grow bigger. So even though it feels scary, it helps to take small steps towards facing our fears. This can gradually help the anxiety to reduce. In supporting those who may be depressed, it's important to talk openly about suicidal feelings. Depression, and sadly, suicide, are more common amongst autistic people than the general population. 
Most people avoid asking about suicidal feelings, believing that if they don't talk about it, it won't happen. Most people are wrong. Asking about suicidal feelings and encouraging communication is the safest thing to do and may save someone's life. Another important way to help is to seek help early. If a child is experiencing any difficulties with their mental health, it is important to seek help early. Changes that might be an early warning sign include long-lasting mood swings, a sudden change in behaviour, difficulty concentrating, loss of interest in activities, constant tiredness, weight loss or weight gain, excessive fears or worries. Asking for help doesn't mean that you failed to help a child yourself. In fact, it is often the best way to support a child who is having difficulties. When adults work together as a team, it really helps to support young people. So, a summary of ways to help with mental health. Firstly, it can help to provide an autistic person with support to identify and express their emotions. Secondly, it's important to develop supportive communities that accept autistic people for who we are. A third way to help is to support autistic people who feel anxious to face their fears in small steps. It's very important to talk openly about suicidal feelings with autistic people who may be depressed. It's also good to seek help early, when everyone around someone with mental health difficulties works together that can really help. 